<laughs> welcome into the hourglass welcome if you are new so today we're going to do a flash pick a card reading <laughs> yeah three card three piles to choose from i'm kind of out of breath because i was doing my workout all right let's see what's going on i hope you guys are doing wonderful today and if you're not get up there all right so let's see what's going on i'm going to divide this stack into three group one group two group number three go ahead and choose now and then we're going to start with group number one all right group number one or stack number one let's see what's going on we have passion ignited and this could talk about the ace of wands in traditional tarot those of you that are studying tarot welcome to tarot if you're new all right let's see what's going on so there is passion ignited we have the fire heart or the flame in heart rather <laughs> that may be some sort of confirmation maybe you're seeing a lot of that around being that we had easter we have the diablo we have capricorn with the sea goat energy as well so this could be a capricorn or somebody that's uh really fond of their work they're having a new a renewal of passion when it comes to their work or their finances or their career some of you your fire must must be ignited or your passion is ignited for a capricorn see what's going on mm. be careful you don't fall into temptation group number one we have the five of cups because you would seriously regret it it would it would bring shame and dishonesty or dishonor to yourself all right i feel like if you fall into some sort of temptation out of just pure passion i feel like you would end up in the five of cups energy for some of you this could be someone that's uh deeply saddened maybe things didn't work out and this person is still kicking themselves because they were too afraid. Maybe they had really uh, strong or overwhelming insecurities. But nevertheless, there is still passion, even though this person may be very sad or gloomy. I'm here. I'm getting that they're sulking. Hmm. Nine of Wands, this person could be very protectant or you're having to protect your energy from this person because you know what maybe they're the one that's tempting to you and uh you kind of realize that falling into this temptation or going back into this delicious yummy game could cause deep sadness so some of you may be provoked or tempted at this time uh to get back into a very toxic or toxicity with someone else hey all right you could also have a very toxic relationship with your job and right now it's kind of draining all the passion out of you and you have to like really stand up for yourself or protect yourself hey i feel like somebody's preparing could be an emperor aries or somebody's divine masculine that was going through uh a lot of toxicity or it's toxic cycles or you guys had a toxic uh tie with an emperor somebody that's very egotistical we have a lot of ego here with the diablo and the emperor here as well this could also be somebody that's obsessed with sex or obsessed with sex with you i feel like they're preparing something ten of cups all right so guess what this person may be in love with you you may be a temptress or they have tempted you before or there's some sort of temptation and i feel like it's fallen in line with very dysfunctional love patterns or uh, love habits here with the ten of cups i do feel like you are somebody's true love or they have a lot of deep love and hot passion for you i feel like they want to play some really <laughs> naughty game with you but they're terribly sad about something maybe that they had too many restrictions here and they're really sad about that that could be an issue here i want to see what's on the bottom of the deck here we have the emperor twice what so this person wants authority or they're trying to tell you listen despite of the toxicity in the life and whatever i'm here to stay some of you this could be a a uh, divine masculine that's in their uh shadow side right now they could be kind of um having enlightenments about how toxic they really are because of the love of power or uh i'm hearing that they love the finer things hey and they may be a workaholic or they have a toxic relationship with money 
uh, power, sex, and drugs could be a situation here or fame. Maybe this is a person that idolizes fame. Somebody's preparing. I feel like they have been wounded or their ego has been wounded and they're preparing. I'm feeling like they're hyping themselves up. This person's body, a bodybuilder or their body could be changing, getting more mature. It's all because of love or the power of love is shining a light on this person's darkness. Wow, yeah. I feel like this person is under magic or black magic. Or they have somebody in their courts that practice dark magic. And they're protecting themselves from that person. Dark magic does not only have to stop at candle magic, spells. It could also talk about somebody lying to this emperor their whole life. Or they were lied to about their power, their divinity, and it kept them in this victim mentality, sulking. I'm hearing I'm not buying tickets to a guilt trip. Somebody's not buying tickets to a guilt trip anymore. They're protecting their energy because of love and this passion has been reignited or ignited. The love has been growing nonstop for, for someone here. All right, we have angel confirmation 155 or 115. We have 115 zero here as well we have four four all right so let's get a, a guidance card yeah so i feel like somebody wants to come back into your life they want the power that they had or they want the control that they had somebody have control or they lost control hey uh and they're trying to seduce you or you have seduced this emperor and they're trying to not be tempted by you or they're trying to resist the temptation of you Mm, something backfired some kind of magic spell backfired because of somebody's shallow intentions or their intentions was really dark i feel for a lot of you you may be uh pisces energy or there was a piscean uh person or somebody just got too caught up in a fantasy and it became toxic somebody wants control they want to control you. Ooh, somebody wants to control you in bed. Soft obsessions going on here or porn. What is the guidance here? <laughs> uh, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So your person or you could have been very egotistical, my way or the highway, very forceful and demanding. And I feel like some sort of passion is ignited in this person or the love is continuously growing. And when they realign with love, the direction is clearly presented to them or clear direction is, hey, so they're preparing for this movement in this direction. I also feel like a uh, mirroring effect or there is this this person met their match both of you may be in an emperor energy as well where you're very very dominant or demanding or this person is coming off as a masculine masculine person this could also be some daddy uh dilemmas that was creating doubts or insecurities or limitation. I feel like this person is freeing or detaching themselves from that darkness or that dark thought that kept them in this victim mentality of the five of cups, feeling sorry for themselves or deep depression, feeling like, um, why me? And, you know, it's almost like they're stepping into their divinity. So somebody's divine masculine, male or female, is preparing her to be very determined to walk uh, in this clear direction of love. All right. Underneath the deck, we have joy is the ultimate creator. So your name may be love, joy, jetem. We have um, destiny, faith, hope. You may have really um, high vibrational names or your name is very high vibrational like star or something but i feel like this person is realigning with the love and joy they have broken out of something with the diablo i don't know if their ego has been curved or their ego has been um tamed here but they are wanting to go towards love and joy they feel like this is the love of their life you have this um undeniable and unbreakable love bond here with this person and you make them feel like a sacred masculine despite of their toxicity or you you stuck around through their toxicity 
but their sex drive is like fucking stimulated here i'm sorry if i'm using my sailor's mount i'm sorry let's get um some messages out of my goodie bag here and we close it up and move on to Group number two, we have a short vacation is in order. So this could be someone that wants to take the lead or they want to kind of control the situation uh, moving forward here as well. Prevention is better than the cure. So your person may want to uh, prevent certain toxicity so they don't have to get back into this five of cups energy because I feel like they have prepared, they have uh, prepared themselves to move out of this five of cups to stand in their divinity. But I feel like there's a temptation to fall back into bad habits and your person knows it. Action is the proper fruit of knowledge. Yeah, this person wants to take action, baby. All right, so prepare for an emperor or a divine masculine to come into your life uh, to bring joy and love because this is the, the direction that they want to go in. They are realigning, they're cutting off or they're getting tired of unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy cycle between the both of you. They're learning, hey, that these patterns is a no-go. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by group number one. Check out the description box below and how you could hit that tip jar. Like, subscribe, share, become a part of the Hourglass community, and I'll see you guys in another channel message or a channel pick a card, pick a stack read, all right? So stay tuned, group number two. Hola, group number two. Welcome into the Hourglass. Thank you guys so much for choosing, for being here today. So group number two, let's see what's going on. This could have a lot to do with yourself or a person that you're concerned about, all right? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have wisdom, the uh, <laughs> I almost said the hermit, but it's the Hierophant. So maybe some of you are like carving out some solitude, some much needed alone time or your person is. And it's like somebody's questioning. I'm, I'm hearing they're questioning their faith or the things that they believe in, or there's a shift in the things that they believe in. Somebody witnessed a revelation or a miracle, and this may have been brought on by ancestors energy. Some of you may be dealing with a spiritual leader, influencer or pastor, a father. I'm also hearing somebody shifting their principles. I'm hearing basic principles or basic moral. It's the principle of a situation. Let's see what's under the deck here. We have the crown chakra. So we're going to take that out. All right. So yeah, somebody's beliefs are shifting here with the crown chakra energy. Hmm. And the crown chakra could speak on deep reflection prayers so there may be prayers of forgiveness or somebody's trying to forgive themselves but i'm also getting that there are miracles that are happening here in somebody's life and it's changing their perspective or their belief or their faith some of you you could be moving from religion to spirituality or you're combining both practices and rituals here i'm also hearing gratitude 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 coming from the crown chakra uh violet white goals may be very um significant here deep inner quests going on mentally some of you your intelligency or like this wisdom is being used or is going to be implemented i'm also hearing by the book i'm also getting the heart the spleen the liver lower excuse me lower intestines or the upper brain nervous system is something here. Clear quartz. Be careful of double standards or living a double life. Somebody's not practicing what they're preaching. Lotus flowers. Frankincense. Okay. <laughs> Touch the top of your head. Somebody's touching the top of their head or something is going on with the top of the head. So let's bust down the terror and see what's going on. <laughs> excuse me the Hierophant could talk about Taurus energy so some of you may be coming into your purpose or you're creating a purpose and that's going against some sort of religious laws or views or your family could be very very religious and your views are going against them you may have to kind of go on your own hey oh you're gonna have to think for yourself with the crown chakra wow all right so let's see what's going on let it be great. Group number two, what's going on with the Hierophant energy, six of pentacles. So some of you may be learning a great deal about reciprocation. 
I'm also hearing somebody is playing it safe. Five of Pentacles with their money or their investments. Some of you could be going back to education or there was some sort of initiation. Somebody being crowned on my head. On top of my head. Something about crown on top of your head or fix the crown on top of your head. Five of Pentacles. Six of Cups. So we have six, six energy. So some of you could be marrying the love of your life or you're marrying your soulmate or your soulmate came into your life to kind of question your faith and your principles let's get one more card out here four of swords and we have the hermit didn't i mention that so the hermit kind of slipped out so i feel like somebody's pulled away or fell back or somebody has ghost there's something that came a light here about a person's life or a double life or what's been going on behind closed doors uh the six of cups i feel like um somebody's looking for a sanctuary or a safe place somebody's wanting a safe place hey i'm also hearing an old flame or an old friend may come back into your life and it's going to test your uh principles or your wisdom while dealing with this person some of you you may be dealing with someone that you thought you were going to marry a virgo could be an Aquarius, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. I feel like you thought about this person and there they go coming, coming in the door, coming in. Some of you are going to be a uh, part of charity or goodwill. That's part of your purpose. Some of you may belong to a charity, a group. Good childhood memory. So some of you may catch up with an old friend, somebody that you haven't seen for a while that fell off of the radar is what I'm getting memories don't live like people do so some of you are having clear conscientiousness or consciousness when it comes to forgiving yourself and i feel like you're doing that by doing good in return or you're doing good for yourself for your family and that's creating good karma mm. somebody's playing it safe they're choosing investments and playing it safe or giving just a little somebody could have breadcrumbed you uh, group number two, uh, it's two sides of a story or two sides of a coin. So maybe you need to get some more um, information before you commit yourself to something or devote yourself or be generous to someone or something. Hey, domination. Somebody wants to dominate you. They feel like they have the power to or they have the wisdom to do so. So be aware of that. Somebody's trying to control your mind or brainwash someone here with a crown chakra. Give back. The gift that always keeps giving is what I heard. Five of Pentacles. Stop neglecting your needs. Stop giving more to others than you're giving to yourself. Or you're going to be put in a very... Uh, you're going to be thrown in or you're going to be faced with a spiritual lesson about being too generous to victims or people that come in with victim mentality. Somebody is so searching with the hermit and the five of pentacles. And I feel like there's paranoia. Okay, so somebody's paranoid and they feel really... Um, inadequate to give to you so i feel like they're playing it safe by giving you just enough what is this just enough uh, i feel like this person is given to more than one person or they have more than one child or they have more than one obligation these are things that they were sworn into these are things that they pledged to somebody pledged to uh, a group or a society and they constantly give to that group but they're thinking about you or thinking what it would be like to give to you or they want to give you back what you have given to them but they have to do some soul searching in order to do that i'm hearing who do you love or somebody's buying somebody's love so your person or you may be attached to someone could be marriage or this is long term and this person has been given given or you're given, given to a, um, a, a company. We have five, five, we have six, six going on here. That may be, um, some sort of help there. Four of swords. Why is the four of swords here? 
group number two. So it seems that somebody's taking a mental break from the situation. Hermit, again, solitude. Somebody's recovering. Could be in a hospital from a brain uh, surgery or headaches. Maybe somebody needs to go to the to a, a, a specialist for migraines or somebody suffering from migraines as we speak. I hope you feel better, person. Uh, for some of you, this person may have ghost you because they don't think things are going to work out because they're living a double life. They're given to something else. So things may have slowed down or this person is deciding to take a break. Some of you need to find a sacred space so you could think clearly. Something is paralyzing somebody, hey, or somebody was paralyzed from taking action. I'm hearing faith and sins. Something about negotiating something is not for negotiating. Or somebody's trying to tell you or show you that they're not about to negotiate what they've been given to. And this is why they ghost you. This is why they fell back. And this kind of pushed you into soul searching questioning your your values your principles so somebody may have ghosted you after you were given to them or being very generous with your resources and that pushed you into a soul searching you're very nostalgic about this person or this person thinks about you they miss you but they're giving this situation a break four of swords Or they're paralyzed by a lot of self-doubt and they're leaving it up in the air and cold. I feel for some of you, what you're not seeing is this person's astral traveling towards you at times. And that goes against their belief or goes against what is of good, goodness. Mm -mm. Some of you may, your friend may come back from the past and they're like changed. They're all like righteous or something. But you need to be careful with the five of pentacles. Because they may prevent you from moving forward to something else. A Virgo or Taurus may return. And they have like a change of purpose or something. But don't let this person push you to commit or answer to something think about it i feel like somebody might want to rush you into making a decision about them so a blast from the past may come back and they kind of push you about uh getting on with you or getting something with you maybe they came back to kind of tell you an explanation why they took a break or why they needed a break but i feel like they're trying to block you from something else what is that something else hair person yeah, I feel like they're going to try to cloud your um your decision making and I feel like they have been going through a hardship without you or when they ghost you, they went into a hardship with someone else. And I feel like they're trying to come out of that hardship or because they left you out in the cold or the dark, they're going to come back with an explanation and hoping that you miss them. Wow. But you're going to sense that something is off here. This person is not telling you what they were truly doing when they ghost. And I feel like with the, the crown chakra, uh, when you go into deep reflection, I feel like your guides is going to show you the truth about that. The, I feel like somebody's going to try to cloud your judgment here or try to force you or push you to neglect your needs by acting like a victim. So maybe they left you and went somewhere else where they thought the grass was greener and it turned out it was not. And they might come in with an excuse to try to reignite these old feelings. But you may need to take a break or you need to pause before you make a decision about this person, love. All right, so let's see what's going on. A ghost is coming back from the past or the ghost from the past is back. You could be very spiritual right now or you're an influencer and this person is trying to double back, trying to make a Yui hair. Uh, when I'm in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. So somebody's going to come back to try to disrupt your uh, peace. 
yeah, they're going to try to confuse you or push you to make an, uh, to commit to something, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to take a pause. You're going to have to think about it. Tell them you're going to sleep on it because they're coming back to disrupt your past because a lot of you have moved through a forgiveness cycle and you're in alignment with this peace with the six of cups, that serenity type of vibe and you're looking good and this person may have felt inadequate before and this is why they left this is why they left you out in the cold but they see that you're very uh loyal or devoted and they remember how given you were but this could be all egotistical dogmatic and double life vibe going on here so think about it tell them you need to sleep on it this could also be an institution or a company, an organization that wants to recruit you. But you could be struggling financially. And you need a sound peace of mind. And you may need to kind of like draw back or reflect. And I feel like if when you come out of that reflection, you're going to come out with new skills or somebody's coming back from your past and they seem totally different. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Yeah, that's all in the tor uh, Taurus energy, her uh, Hermit, Hierophant, and the Five of Pentacles. You need to contemplate with the Four of Swords. Yeah, you need to rest on this. Some of you are recovering and you're going to come back out bigger and better and in alignment with yourself. Therefore, nobody's going to be able to interrupt your peace. But I feel like you needed to recover from some sort of nostalgia. Maybe you still think about this person. You still have hope. Even though you guys are out in the cold. And I feel like this person may have snuck off or they kind of ghost you. And whatever situation they went into, it caused them to do some sort of soul uh, searching. So prayer, contemplation, and stillness would give you the answers. It would give you the power as well, but you have to surrender. All right, so let's jump into some uh, fortune cookie messages and wrap it up for you, group number two. I hope that you followed along and it, it helped somewhat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Genius is nothing but a great aptitude for patience. I hope I said that word correctly. A-P-T-I-U-D-E. Aptitude. You guys, what? <laughs> All right. So you're going to have to think smart. Put on your thinking caps. If this is something that coming back from the past, take the wisdom with you. What have you learned from this past person or situation? Use it. Implement that wisdom, all right? Use your thinking caps. We have integrity is doing the right thing even if nobody is watching. So somebody may not be moving with integrity towards you, my love. And this is why you're going to have to like, let me rest on that. Let me sleep on that. Because I feel like somebody's going to be very pushy. Like pushing something or trying to shove something down your throat. They don't want you to think too hard about this about them coming back especially if they left you in a weird fashion it's like no closure but some of you kind of kept going forward in life even though you felt left out or neglected by this person some of you this person could have fucked up your finances you were given too much hair maybe they kind of fed you like this purpose clause or they fed you like this they sold you a dream or something for some of you, you do have like some sort of biblical, spiritual tie with someone from the past. I'm hearing you, you made your bed now lie in it. Okay. So somebody may want to come back and uh, jump back in bed with you after neglecting you. And they want you to like neglect your needs or your um, principles or values boundaries or something or standards they want you to ignore it for them that's what i'm getting and you may be the one to end up ghosting this person you may have they may tell you that they're going through some financial situation and it's like oh you're still with this broke talk you're still with that type of talk i'm hearing keep away from people that are still complaining still broke something like that is going on here 
Others of you, you may have somebody coming back from the past that's wanting to kind of um, come out of the cold with you. They feel very um, like left behind. Some of you, this person could even feel disconnected by spirit from spirit and some renewed faith or hope or this person wants your trust and forgiveness. They're hoping that they could reignite these feelings. But they, you're going to have to like, I'm hearing you're going to have to like think about this uh, very thoroughly. Hey? Or you might need to recover from what this person did with this ghosting. Or they feel like you have not recovered from them ghosting you. And that's what they're sorry about, that they just left. No explanation. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, group number two. And I'm moving on to group number three. Check out the description box below on how you could hit that tip, that love jar. Like, subscribe, share. Become a part of the Hourglass experience and community. And I'll see you guys in another channel message or another channel. Pick a stack, pick a card, read. So off to number three. Group number three. Group number three. So I just had this big bang outside of my window. So some of you may be into the big bang theory or when you come in the room, it's like, bang. <laughs> Group number three, wait in game. Ouch. <laughs> and we have the ethers. So listen, something could be delayed and it's due to the ethers, the cosmic forces, the divine could be kind of holding things back right now. The universe card is the world card. So some of you may be moving into a new successful beginning or this is the calm before the storm. Let's talk about it. So the two of wands in the traditional tarot is the waiting game. So this could be someone that's at a crossroad waiting for the right time, waiting for that green light from the ethers to kind of move forward or pull forward, waiting for a signier sign for some of you. Mm. I'm waiting for a signier sign for the goal for uh, success here. Hey? Okay, so I'm getting that the ethers wants you to wait. Do you have enough patience to wait, my love? Some of you are like, what? I've been waiting for so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on here. The waiting game. I love the hourglass in this card. So something is coming into fruition. There is success. We have angel confirmation 221. That could also be somebody's birth date or a time stamp. So uh, some of you may be afraid of making a decision and you're waiting or you're waiting for um, to be released. Somebody, Some of you may be waiting for somebody to be released from jail or you're waiting for someone to kind of catch up with you is what I'm getting. Some of you are no longer being held back by fear and anxiety kudos to you some of you're all about making the right choices and decision moving forward but right now you have to wait there's some sort of success or achievement that is going to be granted to you you're going to obtain it you have the power of limitless uh strong trust and intuition you know it's coming but it's just a little pause. Something is developing further here as well. I'm hearing every moment or every minute counts with the ethers or the world card. I feel like if you rush forward, you're going to open up a new beginning that you don't want here. So it's best to just take your time, slow down, and stay on your spiritual path. Because some of you are on a journey... Uh, to the soul hey as well so the world card may be a calling card for some of you the world card yeah that's your calling card those of you that into tarot that deeply so fulfillment some of you are going to have like this uh moment or period where you're going to be celebrating this fulfillment or this peace that you have i feel like the the weight is worth it or this could be somebody's feelings towards you. They feel like the wait is worth it because when you guys do come into union, it's a lot of peace. They feel really free to be themselves. You could be very connected to the ethers or the divine source and this person knows it. 
something about the soul shines brightly when you guys are together or you're a very wise soul and you're truly wonderful to be around is what I'm getting. Wow. Some of you may be dancers or you like to boogie down. This person may want to dance with you as well. Or they're going to celebrate or you guys are just going to be like really like lovebirds or goofy uh, when the wait is over. Let's bust down this terror and see what's going on. Group number three. We have the magician. So somebody's in a very powerful position of the magician. We have the Ace of Cups. Ooh, and we have the Page of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's wanting to take something into their hands and make it happen. I feel like this is worth the wait. This could be a very uh, loving connection or this could be something that's wish fulfillment or something that is very emotionally fulfilling such as peace. With the Page of Cups, somebody's head could be in the clouds right now dreaming about this uh, successful beginning or whatever is going to be achieved. Somebody is literally a visionary and they're following their heart or they're following their calling wow i feel like somebody's very connected to the ethers hey and the ethers it's it's like somebody's working with um elemental magic or magic with a k they're working with the ethers head to make something happen somebody's being purified hey as well I'm hearing the universe is blessing someone with financial goals. Maybe something was unrealistic in the past, but if you could dream it, you could do it. Type of vibe with the magician. Hey, let's get a few more cards. The fool. Very beautiful energy. So you're going to have to stay very innocent and open to the wonders and awes about life. Every little thing has its reason. Or you're going to be amazed with something that cannot be figured out. It's a mystery and it's going to stay a mystery. So this could be not questioning the magic that you have within. You, it's like somebody's very scientific or somebody's very logical. They want explanations and reasons. But you're going to have to trust. You're going to have to trust like a little kid. Because the fool is like the kid of the zodiac apart from Aries, right? Some of you may be going to uh, psychic mediums or terror readers or you're becoming a terror reader as well. And that's opening this this uh, stream of love. Hey, mm, somebody's waiting on your love. Yeah, they're dying to talk to you. If you have went through a very harsh or painful ending that has activated some sort of uh, sleeping energy or power hair, supernatural ability. Some of you could have said goodbye to a manipulator. And when you did that, something opened up in this person. I feel like they were struggling with some sort of reality. Maybe they thought something was unrealistic between the both of you. So they were being a manipulator. Uh, maybe they thought, deep down that things wouldn't have worked out with you but they kept leading you on and i feel like when you finally had that last break or pain or a disappointment you kind of cut away this manipulation or you may have stopped manipulating something or trying to control something here and when you did there was a refill of a cup so maybe you were seeing the cup as half empty and that has changed the worst is over for some of you. Or this person is feeling like the worst has is over. The wait is over, hey. And now it's time for this ace of cups energy. It's time for some new love approaches or a different way of showing love. Somebody's ready to get back into the dating scene after being manipulated from somebody online. Looking for love in the wrong places or looking for love online. Trust your intuition. I feel like you have a call in here and you're being very, very stupid about it. I'm going to call you out. You're being stupid about it. Uh, we have the five of wands paired with the universe energy. Now, let me let me tell you something here. There could be some chaos or power struggle between you and someone. And I felt like it's been going on for a, lo a long time. The both of you could have been hurting each other with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands competing for each other's attention 
or very frustrated with the circumstances but the ethers was pro it was like delaying things because somebody needed to grow up hey we have the page of cups with the full energy the head was up in the clouds somebody thought something was not realistic possibly love and they you kept going through this manipulation with them why why would you keep repeating that manipulation? Okay, so some of you may have been trying to defend yourself, but it was very unsuccessful with the Ten of Swords. Very frustrated. Maybe you felt hassled. Maybe you felt like time was running out for, to get with this person. And after you like release that control, because some of you were manipulating something here with this person, whether you want to admit that or not, you were being very manipulative. And this is why you were constantly being disappointed because you had to surrender to the ether. Hey, so if you have moved on from trying to make something happen or you were trying to force something or you were trying to prove or defend yourself, if you have let that go because of some sort of pain. I feel like you're going to have this new love cycle. Or you're going to have this renewal of love within yourself. Some of you could have had a baby girl recently. Or there was a baby girl that changed somebody's life. Hey? Somebody may also see you as very childlike or innocent. Maybe you still look how you looked when you were a little girl or a little boy. Uh, somebody was a scapegoat. Hey. Or somebody's playing a, sa a scapegoat. That's not going to get you anywhere. Some of you, this person may be at odds with themselves. They're trying to escape something Hey, Some sort of reality could be the reality of their feelings. Kind of looking back and seeing how they disappoint you or cause betrayals. And trying to escape that reality. Some of you may be moving on two different paths. From this person. But in time. You guys would. The fool. In time something spontaneous. Might happen with this person. Something that you could not predict. That is going to happen with this person. So you may have this unseen. Uh, beginning with someone. That you had a lot of power struggles with. Or minor setbacks with. Right. Right. For some of you, you were dealing with someone that was more interested in themselves or interested in what they could get rather than what they could give to you. And you played the full game because you yourself was afraid of the reality uh, of this person. You were very naive. Uh, you had unrealistic goals or this person has unrealistic goals. I feel like somebody wants to tell you how they feel after some real painful silent treatment or silence. Hey, they feel like your, your messages echo or ripple in the ethers. Hey, you're very powerful manifester here with the magician, the worth, the weight. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So some of your Focusing on your abilities, your skills, your power, laser like focus with the magician. This could have been very painful to kind of say bye to a manipulator or say bye to old ways of manipulation. I feel like you're now seeing with love or you're moving with love, and that's giving you a different perspective of the world, the world card. All right, so dance. Get into that childlike wonder. Move out of love. Love for yourself. Especially when I accept the love of the universe as my primary primary teacher. I will always be guided back to the light. So some of you are going to have to surrender to the powerful teachings of the universe. All right. I don't know if you understand that. But I feel like you have been a rivalry against the ethers here. Because you feel like you could manifest or manipulate on your own will. But you see how that have been self-sabotaging yourself with the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. So don't fall on your own swords here, baby boy, baby girl. So let's get some um, 
messages had additional messages plenty of messages had thank you guys so much for tuning in group number three a short vacation is in order for you so you're going someplace you're going some places that even if it's just downtown the real kindness comes from within you moving in love we, we have happiness is our birthright wanting to show up so listen the ethers has your back and you have to move in love and kindness for yourself it has to be coming from you no more manipulation lotus blooms lotus blossoms smells better when you stop so something you guys have to stop my loves <laughs> all right and you have to forgive yourself is what i'm feeling for these uh attempts to manipulate or control a situation now it's time to move out of love and kindness all right yeah and i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for tuning in i ran out of time i hope that did not kind of like make you guys kind of like upset there but that's all i'm getting i'm seeing angel confirmation one one zero we have a hundred here as well that could be uh something great for someone here mm -hmm. two two one i guess i said that before and yeah big up on yourself in the comment box let me know if you guys did enjoy that check out the description box below and how you could hit that love tip jar and i'll see you guys in another channel message or a channel pick a card reading ciao